Let's read short stories with comprehension check for grade 4. The Vinder Viper There was an old house that sat on a hill outside of town. Everyone said it was haunted. The owner of the house died and left the house to her nephew, Caleb. A few years after his aunt died, Caleb came to town and looked at the house inside and out. It was a beautiful old house and in good condition. He decided to move in. One night, soon after moving in, Caleb's phone rang. When he answered it, a voice said, I am the Vinder Viper. I will be there in two weeks on October 31st. The caller hung up before Caleb could say anything. Vipers are very scary snakes. Caleb searched the internet for information about the Vinder Viper but found nothing. A week later, the phone rang again. I am the Winter Viper. I will be there in one week. This made Caleb quite nervous. He asked around the town and no one had ever heard of that kind of Viper. Days later, the phone rang again. I am the Winter Viper. I will be there tomorrow on Halloween. Now, Caleb was really scared. The next evening, the phone rang. I am the Winter Viper. I will be there in one hour. Caleb tried to leave, but his car wouldn't start. Nearly an hour later, the phone rang again. I am the Winter Viper. I will be there in two minutes. Caleb ran around and locked all the windows and doors. Then he called 911. The police were on the way. Soon, there was a knock at the door. Caleb opened the door a crack and asked, is that the police? No, I am the Vinder Viper. I come every month to wash and wipe your windows. Your turn to read, kids.
Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. 1. What is a viper? A. A ghost B. A tiger C. A snake You're right, the correct answer is C, a snake. Number two, what did the Vinder Viper turn out to be? A, a ghost. B, a snake. C, a window washer. You're right, the correct answer is C, a window washer. Number 3. When did the Vinder Viper come to Caleb's house? A. Two weeks before Halloween. B. Before he moved in. C. October 31. You're right. The correct answer is C. October 31. Number 4. Where is Caleb's house? A. By the sea B. On a hill outside of town C. In a small village You're right. The correct answer is B. On a hill outside of town Number 5. Who owned the house before Caleb? A. His father. B. His aunt. C. A witch. You're right. The correct answer is B. His aunt. Number 6. Why didn't Caleb leave the house when he was afraid? A. His car wouldn't start. B. The weather was very bad. C. He had nowhere to go. You're right. The correct answer is A. His car wouldn't start. Number 7. Why did Caleb call the police? A. The house was haunted. B. Someone stole his car. C. He was afraid of a dangerous snake. You're right. The correct answer is C. He was afraid of a dangerous snake. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to the next story. Over or under? Zach's grandfather, Stan, was very famous. Why? Because he had a very, very, very long white beard. One day, Zach asked his grandfather, When you sleep, do you put your beard over or under the covers? I'm not sure, said his grandfather. I fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. I never pay attention to my beard. I look tonight. Stan got into bed that night and pulled up the blanket. Then, he remembered his grandson's question. Aha! His beard was definitely under the covers. But wait, did that feel right? He lifted his beard from under the blanket and placed it above it. This also didn't feel quite right. So, he tucked the beard under the blanket again. But he soon felt it would be better if it were out. 
in and out went the beard. First under the blanket, then over it, under, over, all night long. Stan didn't sleep all night. In the morning, he was so tired and fed up that he cut his long beard right off. Not completely off, just to the chin. Stan's friends were so happy. They had been trying to get Stan to cut that beard for years. Zack never did find out the answer to his question. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. 1. Why didn't Stan sleep? Letter A. He was moving around his beard all night. B. He didn't feel tired. C. He was worried about Zach. You're right, the correct answer is A. He was moving around his beard all night. Number 2. When Stan first got into bed, where was the beard? A. Over the covers. B. Under the covers. C. The story doesn't say. You're right, the correct answer is B. Under the covers. Number 3. Stan shaved off his entire beard. A. True. B. False. C. The story doesn't say. You're right, the correct answer is B. False. Number 4. Who is Stan? A. Zach's brother. B. Zach's grandfather. C. Zach's friend. <laughs> you 
You're right. The correct answer is B. Zach's grandfather. Number five. Why did Stan cut off his beard? A. Moving around the beard kept him up all night. C. It was itchy. C. Stan's friends told him too. You're right. The correct answer is A. Moving around the beard kept him up all night. Number six, Stan's friends were upset that he cut his beard. A. True. B. False. C. The story doesn't say. You're right. The correct answer is B. False. Number seven, why didn't Stan sleep? A. He was moving around his beard all night. B. He didn't feel tired. C. He was worried about Zach. You're right. The correct answer is A. He was moving around his beard all night. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye, kids!